Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn the structural elucidation of atropine. This is the structure of atropine. Atropine is a solanaceous alkaloid. Its melting point is 118 degrees Celsius. Its common name is hyoceamine and it is an optically active compound. It readily resumizes to atropine when it is warmed in ethanolic solution. So thus, atropine is plus or minus hyoceamine. Now let us move further chemical constitution of atropine. The first point is molecular formula. The molecular formula is C17H23NO3. As you can see from the structure. Both are same but the thing is C6H5 is represented in a ring form and here I have expressed in C6H5. That's the difference and otherwise both are same. The second point is presence of a primary alcoholic group. From the usual test as we say the acetylation or benzoylation we get monoacetyl or monobenzoyl derivative. So we can say there is an alcoholic group in atropine. And the nature of the group is determined by oxidation and it is a primary alcoholic group. The next point is hydrolysis. When atropine is hydrolyzed with barium hydroxide, when it is warmed, atropine is hydrolyzed to plus or minus tropic acid and tropine. As you can see from the reaction, atropine with hydrolysis with barium hydroxide, we get tropic acid and tropine. Sorry, this is C8. To know the structure of atropine, now we have to study the structure of tropic acid and tropine. So let's move to the structural elucidation of tropic acid and tropine. This is the structure of tropic acid. As you can see, it's a simple structure with a benzene ring an alcohol and an acid. Its melting point is 117 degrees Celsius. The molecular formula is C9H10O3. It is a saturated compound. It has an alcoholic group which can be confirmed by acetylation or benzoylation. We get a monoacetyl or monobenzoyl derivative and on oxidation we get an aldehyde. So it is a primary alcohol. And the next step, tropic acid on heating strongly removes the molecule of water to form atropic acid. The molecular formula of atropic acid is C9H8O2. This on oxidation forms benzoic acid. So from this we can confirm that atropic acid contain a benzene ring with one side chain. So atropic acid can take two forms from the above facts either one or two. So to decide in with these two the first structure is nothing other than cinnamic acid so the structure of atropic acid must be the second one. We got atropic acid by the removal of water from tropic acid so by adding a molecule of water to this atropic acid we get back the tropic acid. So the tropic acid may have either the third structure or this structure, third or fourth structure. The difference you can see here CH3OH and here CH, CH2OH. And the structure of tropic acid is confirmed by its synthesis. The synthesis is from tropic acid, sorry, the synthesis of tropic acid is from acetophenol. Acetophenone with HCN. It adds to the double bond O group as OH and CN. Again treating this with an acid we get OH and COOH. When we heat this compound under reduced pressure we get this structure which is atropic acid. With further treatment with either or HCl we get this compound. The HCl adds to CH2 as CH2Cl and the H adds to the carbon. 
and now we are treating with potassium carbonate we get the tropic acid so from this we can say the structure of tropic acid and now we will move on to the structural elucidation of tropine this is the structure of tropine a seven membered ring with an bridge of n methyl group and an alcoholic group the melting point is 63 degrees celsius the molecular formula is c8h15no tropine is in other words tropanol is a saturated compound it contains an alcoholic group which can be determined by the common test acetylation or benzoylation and the nature is found by oxidation as secondary alcoholic group and the nitrogen is tertiary in nature which is identified by treating tropine with methyl iodide we get a quaternary salt so that we can say the nitrogen is tertiary in nature will stalter examine the oxidation products of tropine tropane on oxidation with chromium oxide we get tropinone on further oxidation we get tropinic acid and again on oxidation with acid we get n methyl succinamide as we said earlier tropane on oxidation we get a ketone tropinone so the tropine is a secondary alcohol and tropinone on oxidation gives n methyl succinamide finally this indicates that tropane is having a pyrrolidone pyrrolidine ring in tropine and see this reaction tropane with hi replaces the oh group with iodine and this on reduction we get dihydrotropidine which is nothing other than tropane which on distillation with hcl we get methyl chloride and nor dihydrotropidine which on reduction we get 2 ethylpyridine the formation of 2 ethylpyridine indicates that tropane is having a pyridine nucleus and also the formation of methyl chloride here indicates that there is a n methyl group in tropine using the above facts the structure of tropine is determined by its synthesis robinson synthesis is from succinaldehyde methylamine and acetone the first step involves the condensation of succinaldehyde and methylamine as you can see ch double bond the nh from methylamine ch3 and then acetone adds to this compound in enol form and we get this compound the nh ch3 goes here and the acetone adds at this carbon now the nch3 group makes a bond with this carbon forms a double bond and the double bond o here forms a double bond and oh here and in the next step we get tropinone by ring closure and this tropinone on reduction with zinc and hi we get tropine now finally the structure of atropine can be determined by its synthesis we know the structure of tropane and tropic acid now the final step is condensing both of them the synthesis is given by fischer speyer esterification as we know tropic acid is an acid and tropine is an alcohol it is a simple esterification reaction so the h and oh is gone as water and now an ester is formed in the presence of hcl which is atropine so finally we synthesized atropine and this is the structure of atropine this is the structural elucidation of atropine hope you all understood the topic so see you all in the next video if you like please give a thumbs up and share with your friends thank you